So what do you do when prices go up? Panic. No, you shouldn't do that. But that seems to be what our industry does. Um, there, there seems to be some disconnection that always occurs between the, the producers and the distributors. Um, and oftentimes it's the end users um, that have to share or bear the burden. And that doesn't seem right, does it? You know, we talk all the time about collaboration, about partnerships, about what we all bring to the table in an effort to protect um, the one who's most vulnerable in the value chain, which is our customers. Uh, they come to us, they come to us for support, they come to us for clarity, transparency, uh, accountability, uh, and of course, respect, yeah, our values, I love. It seems like every time I talk, I can always bring those back up because really that's what it's about, isn't it? Um, but here we're in a moment where steel prices are on a straight line upward trend that uh, we don't see uh, an end to just yet. Um, so how do we deal with it? Well, um, what do we think is the right thing to do for the customer? Start there. What do we think is the right thing to do for your customer, for our customers? And in our case, we are customers to some of the producers, aren't we? Um, when we do that, when you have that conversation, you'll find out the right solution. Uh, panic? No. Conversation, collaboration, partnership. Um, in some cases, you're going to have to work together, and that may be incurring some financial burden on behalf of the customers. Um, but if you understand that this is a partnership all the way through, from producers to suppliers to distributors uh, to the customer, and that through that partnership, things can be worked out, um, the customer will, will win, we will all win, we'll all benefit, we'll solidify relationships further um, and avoid the panic. Um, so yes, steel prices will soften one day this year. Um, there'll be some normalization that will come back. Um, but I would just encourage everybody in the industry, take a step back. It was a bit of a panic the past couple weeks, as you saw, um, you know, hot roll, cold roll just I don't know, it's been double since August, so that's probably a reason to panic, um, but it hasn't been a surprise. We've been getting these notifications month over month, but I would say, look, the panic's over. Let's understand what the marketplace looks like. Let's understand what the producers can guarantee to us and to our customers, and let's work together to figure out the best solutions for the customers, which I promise you, in turn, will be the best solution for you.